suppose my role is to set the cross-country test for the military. So I design where the fences are going to go, how long it's going to be, where the questions on the course are going to be, and you try and put the whole package together for the Saturday. Here, uh, I started in 2019, so that was my first year, and then obviously we had a, a break because of um, uh, COVID, um, and now we are 23. Yeah. It's a 12-month process to get to get where we are, um, and then we try and you know do some of the build over the winter, and then obviously it's always crammed a little bit in towards the end of the um, uh, the end of the build where we are now. So um, where all systems go at the minute, trying to get everything ready. Uh, it's a great place to work. It's a lovely place, it's not without its challenges. You know, we cross lots of different um, bits of land which belong to different people, so that um, causes a few uh, problems, but uh, the military are really good to work for, and it's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely spot. I've changed it a little bit from, uh, from previous years. So we, uh, so the first three or four fences are the same. Uh, then we go across a new piece of land. Um, uh, and then they go through the main water which is generally where everyone stands and watches. Uh, and then their route back home is slightly different. We're not going through uh, the wood in Tessenbos anymore, so uh, which makes life easier for moving people around and just a little bit more flowing for the horses and the riders. So a few changes. This is a difficult one. <laughs> uh, always difficult to say because I think there's so many there's so many aspects that would make cross country day more challenging you know if the weather's nice then and the going's good then that's great if the weather turns and the going and it's wet and it's a little bit more different it becomes a little bit more challenging for the horses so I think it's a good test I think it's a good four star four star test for horses and riders so hopefully um, they'll be up to meeting the challenge. This jump are you most proud of? Um, I think at the moment the water, the main, the main water complex is, uh, works really well. There's lots of different options, lots for people to see, so I'm pleased about that. And they're all, they're all good in their different ways, you know, I think they all, they all offer something. So um, I'm pretty proud of, of everything really, all the bits. Um, very nervously. Uh, I think I, I tend to um, I walk the course in the morning, uh, make sure everything is as it should be, um, and pretty much, you know, there's nothing more for us, for me to do then. Uh, and then I just have to wait for the first one to go, and I spend my time watching it on the on the on the monitors. Uh, and then once the first few have gone out, I come out and watch them actually jumping the fences in the, you know, in the flesh. So I need to see what they're doing and how they're doing it, and whether they're doing what I thought they should be doing. So.